I'm in a state of shock right now, but I'll get over it. A witness describes the moment he was caught in the middle of a high speed chase. The driver, a wanted man who ended up at a pool of blood. And our tennis reporter Hannah Mullins is live at National City with new information on what deputies say that Frank Rios had in the car with him. Hannah. Well, they say he was armed with a 40 caliber handgun that was stolen and loaded. He bailed out of his car right up there on the five. Instead of surrendering, he hopped the wall. He may not have realized it was a 40 foot drop until he was actually in the air. Now, 10 News was the only station here to capture Rios face down in a puddle of his own blood. The sheriff's narcotics unit had been trailing him all morning for a felony warrant. Deputies tried to stop him in Spring Valley, but say he punched the gas, hitting speeds of 100 miles an hour. At the end of a 15 mile chase, he crashed into a car in National City. From out of nowhere, I heard a boom and I got hit, and then the cops were just right there to catch him. So hopefully, he's taken care of and uh, we'll have him maniacs running around the road tonight. He has broken bones in his arms, his knees, and his legs. He is also in a lot of trouble. We're live in National City, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.